I'm a big person on don't force something, you know, like you'll know. It's so weird. Like I, I think that we, that's part of like that trusting that gut instinct is that like you start to just know when something is a good fit or when it's not. And you know, like what's a good fit for one group in your style of design might not be a good fit for another group in their style of design. And I think that's always important to reflect on. But I remember this one guard I was doing, like, you know, going into like the amount of time you pick a concept over. I mean, it was like two days before. And then we were like, I just don't know. And then we just like turned our phone on. I was like, I don't know, I like this piece. And we hit it. And then like everyone was feeling passionate. Everyone was feeling inspired by it. And I think that too was like when you knew, you know, whether it's yourself or whether you're working with a group of people, it's that moment when you start to look into the room and see like are everyone else's sparks flying, you know, is everyone else feeling passionate enough to like contribute and then, oh yeah, and then this, and then this. You can do it by yourself, but there's a different magic that comes from a room full of people throwing out the ideas and then merging and molding and adapting and things like that. Hello, Tim and everyone at Marching Roundtable. Congratulations on 1,000 episodes. That's amazing. And I think there's some people at the Blue Devils Color Guard who wanna say something. 